guys in the last part of the XML files video I'm gonna show you how you can update uh, existing data from the XML files so far in this series we have seen how to create an XML file how to show the content or a specific note or notes underneath a certain tag we have seen how to add data to XML file and we also managed to delete data uh, as a whole as a data set from the XML file itself so all of these functionalities now have been performed and the only thing left now is to basically uh, update existing data so we can see the XML file itself and we can see uh, certain nodes such as student name we can add data, new data is added, so we can click on show again to see new data, which is John Brown. And now we can see John's name in here, and we can delete data, which says the data is completed. We can click on show again to see that the data is no longer there. Now the only thing left is to manage to update this. And we're gonna do this in a very similar way, how we did uh, the delete part. So we're gonna use descendant again and basically create a statement to compare an update ID and we're gonna basically use this update ID to update X element. So I'm gonna copy paste this part and put it underneath this and instead of delete data, I'm gonna say update data from XML file. And going down, this should be button update XML now when we go back we're gonna double click on the update data part in order to write the components that is required for us to update the data itself now the first thing we do is to basically copy paste the uh, document the X document load just as we did in the delete part this should be copied now this will allow the uh, document to be loaded, the XML file, into the link framework and from there we're going to generate an ID which we will use to update uh, certain uh, tags. And this will be done just as in the delete no part, we use a unique number and we're going to use a unique number again and it will be uh, it will serve us as the identifier to do the update process I will call this update number and I will actually update myself so if you go to the first entry inside the XML file you will see that the first entry is actually me so I'm gonna make my name and surname actually capital in this table instead of lowercase so I'm gonna manage to do that update so once you have loaded the X document and created an update ID, we need to make sure that this will be the selected item. So we're gonna type var items, var stands for variable, from items, item in document descend. Not descendant note, descendants. And we're gonna select student, which is our main tag here. The root, where we can say where item dot element student number. Student number. This is the student number inside the tag itself. So in here we have a student number, so I'm trying to reach that specific uh, tag in order to compare the uh, component, its value basically, to be comparable so that I can compare it to the value that I have with the opt update number. So I'll look into initializing this value. To the update number and I will also select the item. This will allow me to basically select a certain item which has 
the same uh, value in the update node. So whenever that value is the same with the update number, it will select the item. And from there onwards, we can actually look into these items and update each data. So we're going to look into for each item inside the X element. So I'm going to put the brackets here. And item element, you can call it anything. You can call it item element. And that should be inside the items, which is already identified as the selected item. Now from here, you can create the update process. So each item now can be updated manually. So we can call it selected item, should you want, instead of item element. So I'm going to call it selected item. And with each selected item, I'm going to do the update. So first one would be selected item. selected item or element whatever dot set element value so this will set the element value inside this which is let's say student name if we go up we have a student name in the selected item student name and we go down now we're going to put a comma and write the new name there. In this case, I want my name to be written down capital, so I'm just gonna type it capital. So I'm not actually changing the data, but rather making the data in caps. And we're gonna do the same thing, selected element, dot set element value for the surname. So the only thing that I want to change here is student name and student surname. The ID one, I'm not changing it because that is the one that I use to find this specific uh, record. So basically you can change anything apart from the unique identifier. In this case, uh, the ID. Each entry should have one unique identifier. Now, once this is done, once you have uh, updated it, we can close for each loop which is already there for each loop is closed and the final thing we do is as always to make sure that this save is done and you can now say that the update process is completed update is completed say update xml is completed delete xml delete from XML is completed, new data is added to XML, and yeah, XML file saved, XML file is displayed. So basically we have button update, button delete, button add XML data, button show, and finally button create. So every functionality that you can do with the XML files is covered up in this program. We haven't checked the button update yet, so let's check that up, build the solution and run it. And we have the update data from XML, I'm going to click on it, and it says update XML is completed. Let's check out if it actually did the update. So if you go there now, you will see that my name and surname now, which was originally in lowercase, it is now uppercase. So you can now use this to see the data itself. So in one file, you can now do the create process, which if you do it again, it will overwrite the existing data. So again, as you can see, my name and surname is now lowercase. If you can add data, if you want to add data, we added the data of John Brown, which is added in here. We can see it as the third entry. And if you want to see it, you can see it in this uh, name part. We can delete John Brown, delete from XML. And if we want to show it, we see John is no longer there. And finally, if we want to update, 
which I'm updating. Uh, mm, sorry, I'm updating my name and surname. You can see that in here that my name and surname is being updated. So with this series now, I completed the XML files using link features. I was able to create, show, add, delete, and update all in one program. So I hope these videos are useful to you. In the next couple of videos, we're going to see more components, how you can store them, how to show uh, them in a data set, such as in this VIPs. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.